I wanted to do a, a video about food photography and the reason for that, parang lately and daming nagpapatulong either projects or friends nagpapatulong sa pagkuha ng food para sa menu nila. It's a simple tutorial on food photography. It's a simple kind of food photography. There are a lot of ways to take pictures of food, more elevated ways to take pictures of food, more professionally lit. But the purpose of this one, this video, itong video na to, ayoko nun. Uh, sa iba na lang yon, Or another time yon, or from someone else. Ang focus ko lang is, someone who has a small business, umpisa pa lang kunwari ng karinderya niya, this is for you. Um, kung wala kayong budget, mag ng photographer, this is for you. Kasi feeling ko naman, kung basic menu items lang naman, and pang social media lang, or sa menu mo, sa karinderya mo, or sa small restaurant, Honestly, a picture taken with your iPhone, kaya na yun eh. Um, minsan, it all boils down to aesthetic lang, yung taste, yung pagkakakuha, yung angulo. Yung lighting, madali yun eh. Gamit ka lang ng daylight, okay na yun. So, simulan na natin ha. Okay. Ang way ko ituro to, para makarelate kayong lahat, since most people ngayon nagsa Starbucks, so sa Starbucks kung gagawin yun. So, okay, step one, I think, marami nagkakamali dito. Napaka-simple nito. Linisin nyo yung lens nyo. Um, pansin ko yung shots ng iba na pinapost sa social media. Merong smudge, may fingerprint, or may alikabok dun sa lens. So, ganun yun na lang. Kunwari, ah, nari lang. Yan, sana malinis to. Yan, yan, chuk, 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 chuk. Kung meron kayo yung mga fancy, um, Computer screen wipes, yung non-static, yung non-smudge, even better. Uh, tapos yung safe, make sure yung safe na spray for electronic devices. Meron akong binibilhan nun sa mumuso na ubos eh. Kakabili ko yata. So, or ako lang yata bumibili, tinigil na nila. Sayang yon kasi safe yon sa lens ng phone, I think. Pero wala na talagang choice at nasa kalye ka or on the spot, nagtitake ka na ng picture sa restaurant niyo or sa karinderya niyo. Yan nun yun lang siguro ng t-shirt. Yung ganon. Ang sample natin. Hindi <laughs> ako maguhuba, don't worry. Yan. Parang ganyan, ganyan lang. Kung... Ewan ko, believer lang talaga ako ng you use what you have in life. Um, the circumstances won't be perfect. It's never gonna be enough money, enough time, enough skills, enough readiness to start your dreams. Minsan, kung ano yung meron mo, gawin mo na yun. Yun na yun. Eh. So, there's always a first step that you can start with whatever resources and situation you are in life. So, try mo lang yan. So, mabalik tayo. So, step one, linisin nyo yung lens nyo. And step two, ito ah, using the Starbucks that I just ordered as an example. Yung step two, huwag nyo siyang kunan as is. Sorry to say ha, um, medyo may konting styling involved. Konting-konti lang, don't, huwag kayo magalala. Super konting styling lang involved. So, step two would be, of course, take out Diba, binigay sa'yo ng Starbucks, kunwari itong almond matcha croissant. Um, may tasa pa ng tubig, may tissue, may resibo. Huwag niyo siyang kunan as is. Or kahit ang guluhin mo yon marami pa rin distractions. So, tang ako ha, personal, ito lang sa akin. Tatanggalin ko siya sa tray. Tapos, ililipat ko sa kabilang table. Or kung isang table mo lang, lipat mo yung mga unnecessary stuff outside. And how do you know which one's necessary and which one's unnecessary? Which means, how do you know kung ano yung kailangan, ano hindi? Sa so step 2, i-determine mo talaga sino ba yung bida ng kinukunan mo sa food. Actually, hindi lang to applicable sa food. Sa street photography and then sa whatever photography genre. Pero ito, maraming hindi gumagawa nito. Yung click lang ng click pero hindi pa klaro mentally sino yung bida. What do you mean, sinong bida? May bida. And food lang yan naman eh. Starbucks lang yan. But may bida pa. Merong bida. When I say bida, sino yung focal point? Sino yung main subject? Dalian lang natin. Kaya nga tinagalog ko na, bida. Hindi pwedeng lahat ng pinipituran mo, kunwari maraming items sa table, sa food, lahat yung bida, hindi pwede. So, i-determine mo, sino bang bida? Sino ba yung gusto mong mag-focus? 
yung audience nyo or yung viewers ng photo nyo or customers nyo. Pag nakita yung picture, sino ba yon? Kung sabaw yan, bakit mo gagawing bida yung nilaga mong, yung sinigang mong corned beef or sinigang, sinigang using pakwan, watermelon sinigang? Bakit mo iangguluhin na ang tubig, yung tap water mo, ang bottled water mo, yun yung bida keso dun sa sinigang? Minsan, sa pag-anggulo, dun mo na ano yung, yung bida. So, okay. Balik tayo. So, sa round 2, sinong bida? And, kung sinong bida, yun lang yung dapat nasa table. Or prominent place sa table. The rest, hindi mo kailangan ng resibo, tanggal. Tinanggal ko siya. Hindi mo kailangan ng um, napkin, pag mo na yan. Yung tasa ng tubig, kung coffee yan, medyo cute sana, pero hindi siya coffee. Bawas coffee ako. So, out. So, linagay ko lang doon yung importante, which is yung almond matcha croissant. Yun. So, step 2 yon So, 1, ulit ah. 1, linisin yung lens. 2, take out everything that's unnecessary so that your focal point, your subject, your main subject, yung bida mong food or bida mong subject na kinukunan na gusto mong yung audience mo doon lang tumingin, yun lang talaga nandun. Yung step 3 niya would be kung if a flat lay mo to, yan, flat lay is yung phone mo, parang UFO na sa taas ng plate, ito yung plate mo. Yung phone mo dyan, yan yung plate, yung croissant. Nandiyan yung croissant, kita nyo. Yan. Ako ha, step 3 ko to. It's a simple kind of food photography, composition. Simple lang to. Pero, ewan ko ha, maganda siya. Malinis, maganda, decente for almost everyone na nakita sa menu na yun. Pwede kayong mag, mas, mas complicated styling, may mga flour-flour pa dyan, matcha-matcha. Okay yun. Pero again, this is not for those with the time and the budget to style this and with excellent lighting, dramatic lighting. This is for someone who just needs a food photo, fast pero decent, na with little budget or li wala nang help with a stylist or professional photographer. Kasi hindi lahat ng photographer tutulong sa small business owner in na uh, medyo low ang price. So ito, this is for you kung nagustong kuna ng sarili nyo, yung menu items nyo. So ulit, so yung step 3 would be, so flat lay yun, no? I rule of thirds nyo, somewhat. Maraming complicated na rule of thirds definition. Sa akin lang, huwag nyo lang siyang i-center. Ganun lang kasimple yon So, pansin nyo, yung plato, ilalagay ko siya 3 fourths sa screen para hindi siya center talaga. Tapos meron akong laging linalagay na 1 fourth na empty. Negative space yon or simple lang, empty lang siya. Bakit? Sa step 3, importante may emptiness para 1. Makapahinga yung mata ng viewer nyo. Kailangan kasi kung too much, ang gulo, naguguluhan. Nafe-feel ng viewer nyo yun. Parang ang gulo. May nilaga, may corned beef, may bagoong, may hipon, may what? Too much. May langgam pa, may langaw, too much. So yun. Um, it helps your viewers, the eyes of your viewers relax. And 2... It leaves room para sa graphic designer. Di ako graphic designer, pero I've worked with a lot of graphic designers. They prefer to have, the people I know, they prefer to have some empty space para dun lalagay yung title ng kung magazine article yan, dun yung title ng magazine article. Dun din ilalagay yung pwedeng yung presyo ng, me, ng food item na yon. So, yun, pagbigyan nyo rin para may paglalagyan ng graphics or logo ng restaurant nyo. So, yon or phone number ng karinderya nyo. And pangatlo, kaya may rule of thirds tayong gano'n na parang hindi siya center. Merong subconscious effect yon sa mga viewers ng photo nyo na kung anong empty space, yung matadal, alam niyang empty space yon parang okay, di ako dyan titingin. So yung bida na napag-usapan natin kanina, na-highlight yon So klaro sa viewers nyo na ah, itong almond matcha na nasa plato, white plate ngayon, again, sa dark brown table, kasi linagay kong empty yung dark brown table, may one for time, remember, empty space, negative space, so yon yung mata mo, hindi titingin mo na kunwari sa negative space, tapos biglang balik sa matcha, kasi wala namang makikita sa negative space, so yon And, other things, mga utensils, like, kanina nakita nyo sa simula, ba may knife and then may fork, Pansin ko yung knife, nagre-reflect yung thumb ko, yung phone. So, ingat kayo sa shiny 
uh, objects. Um, utensils are always shiny, unless plastic spoon and fork yon. So, tinanggal ko si knife, si fork linagay ko. And may konting styling involved. Simple lang to, guys, don't worry. Yung mga spoon, fork na yan, ipatong nyo lang ng pabagsak. Okay na yon. Tapos i-diagonal nyo. So, wag, wag din masyadong straight lahat ng lines. Kasi, di ba, kita nyo may bilog na akong matcha. Inayos ko rin siya na parang diagonal sa corner. Tapos yung fork, ginanong ko rin diagonal. Experiment nyo lang. Pero at least yung plate, i-sure nyo ng medyo wag siyang center. Yan. Tapos, madali nang ayusin. If you feel nyo lang, if feel nyo lang na, okay, si almond matcha, croissant, parang okay siya. Si fork, lagay mo dito. Pwede parang relo yan. Ikot mo kayo dito, kaya dito, kaya dito, kaya. Isa doon, mafe-feel niya parang, ah, okay. Basta, ang sa akin lang, ha? Opinion ko lang to. It's not the only technique. It's not the only rule. It's not the only composition. There are more complicated ones. There are better ones, definitely. But again, this is a simple way of creating a food photograph na decent and magandang feeling, magandang composition. Simple composition, clean, quiet, and decent, and sophisticated in a few steps. Yun lang, just by leaving one fourth na empty, hindi center ang plate, okay na yun. You could also center the plate, pero that's for another video. Ito lang kung mabilisan. Barbecue, um, liempo, barbecue, kangkong, sabaw, three fourths, one fourth empty, flat lay, tapos. Okay? And, kaya ko ito ginagawa. Not because I want you guys to hire me as a food photographer. I would honestly recommend hire another photographer for food. Um, I'm not sharing this video. I did not create this video so that you, because I want to be hard. It's really a form of public service. Um, again, because I really believe in entrepreneurs. Because I can, siguro nagre-resonate ako with them. Uh, may guts din ako to go for what I want. Sometimes, most of the time I fail, pero like entrepreneurs, I just go for it. And I can relate to the amount of time, money, effort, and sacrifice to go for one's dream. And gusto ko rin i-post yung photo na to kasi ang daming nilatatanong sa akin ng, ng nag-aas sa akin for help. So, I can't help everyone. So, hopefully this will help someone out there um, take better pictures for their menus para sa pangarap nila. Para ma mapabuti din yung sariling pamilya nila, di ba? Mga anak nila kasi kumikita. Mga karindir yan. I mean, malakas, lakas, lakas din ang kita nun. Pero, minsan doon lang talaga sila umaasa. Yung sa negosyo yun. And better pictures help. Food items sell. More sales, more ginawa para sa family na yun. At sa businessman na yun. Businessman, businesswoman. Hopefully, this tip, these tips help you to create your own visuals so you can share your passions, and then share more of your own stories. Thank you.